The Crude Life with host Jason Spies. My name is Jason Spies, and this is the Crude Life Daily Update. On today's program, we talk with Jack Hamlin, president of Summit Engineering and Energy Strong Colorado, a movement in Colorado to help educate oil and gas, as well as the climate change fossil fuel debate. In just a moment, part of our exclusive interview with Jack Hamlin, part of the leadership team of Energy Strong Colorado and president of Summit Engineering, right here on the Crude Life Daily Update. Yeah, Prop 112 came through. That was all the focus. We fought that. The state spoke. I mean, it was it was beat by a very sound margin that they don't want those types of restrictions on the oil and gas industry because it is uh an important piece of not only the economy and jobs and all that, but energy prices and uh, combating uh, energy poverty. And, and even our, our biggest detractors, they get, they, they get in the shower every morning on, you know, using a hot water heater, turn on their AC or furnace, get in a car that's powered by fossil fuels and made by fossil fuels. And so our perspective was, you know, we're, we know we're, we're doing a good thing. It is virtuous. Fossil fuels are virtuous. Uh, that's why, People that, you know, come and uh, argue against fossil fuels, they still use the product every day. It's the realization there is how do we communicate and, and prepare better? So during Prop 112, we're looking at that. That gets beat. And then out of the blue, for a lot of people, some people may have known about it, but out of the blue, I didn't really understand how government worked, to be honest with you, at a, at a regional and state level didn't realize that these types of laws could be passed without a vote or being put onto a ballot. That's partly my own uh, ignorance there, but a lot of people have that. They're not engaged in day-to-day politics in the, the town hall meetings and the meetings and um, uh, state legislative meetings and that. And so uh, as these things started to unravel, we realized, you know, that, yeah, we beat Prop 112 and Senate Bill 181 came through and that is a, much larger threat to our industry and our way of life so the evolution was so fast we needed an agile group of people that would show up and weren't afraid to speak a message that wasn't filtered that was just this is the story and that was jack hamlin with energy strong colorado and summit engineering to listen to the full-length interview or to check out other exclusive interviews visit the crudelife.com that's the crudelife.com We ask you to be part of our ever-growing army of energy enthusiasts, 350,000-plus social media followers at thecrudelife.com. Click on the social media tab. We have all the YouTubes, the Facebooks, the tweets, the Twitters. All that is right there, thecrudelife.com. Click on the social media tab. From the staff here at the Crude Life Daily Update, my name is Jason Spies, asking you to savor life and enjoy the spice. Historic. The first full conversion refinery to be built in the U.S. in over 40 years. Innovative. The cleanest, most technologically advanced downstream project ever. The model for future shale basin projects. Groundbreaking. With construction resuming in early 2019. The Davis Refinery.